cop accidentally shoots a five-year-old while chasing a car theft suspect. We got to ask, is it worth it? Per the route, an Atlanta family has retained civil rights representation of possible legal action against Douglas County Sheriff's deputy. The reason? They claim instead of aiming for a carjacking suspect, the officer shot a five-year-old girl. Mother posted to her Instagram stories the image of a bullet hole through her vehicle's rear window with the caption, they shot my baby. There you see it. Her WSB TV, the mother says she's thankful her child is alive after the young girl was shot in the arm at the BP gas station on Fulton Industrial Boulevard Sunday night. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Deputy had been involved in a two county police chase. Life versus property. Life versus property. Details of the pursuit, June 23rd, the Dallas Police Department attempted to put 25-year-old Rashani Mike Palmer into custody for the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. Officers sought him on charges of aggravated assault, kidnapping, in connection to an incident that occurred that evening. However, after officers put him in cuffs and placed him in the back of the patrol car, CBI says he found a way to escape the vehicle and took off on foot the route. That's a meeting, an investigation. A transparent one said to put him in handcuffs and in a patrol car. And yet two counties later, Palmer managed to get into his Dodge Charger and drive off for the GBI. How did he get out of handcuffs? No clue. Somebody knows. Douglas County Sheriff's deputies then engaged in a speed chase, headed down I-20 East before Palmer crashed into a tractor trailer. The route with the details. You know how dangerous these chases are to the public. Palmer then took off on foot to a nearby BP gas station. And that's where everything went left. BBI says he attempted to carjack two adults for their BMW and a deputy fired at the vehicle. Instead of Palmer being struck, the five-year-old girl sitting in the back of the car was hit with the deputy's bullet. Mother also posted a video of the bullet on Instagram, captioned that video, I can't stop crying. She also posted videos showing the junior deputy badge officers gave her daughter. I don't need a badge. I need my daughter not shot. I added that. Mother says her daughter called her a crybaby because she was crying so much. She is a brave little girl. Shouldn't have to be, though. Know. Palmer was taken into custody and slammed with a slew of charges from several agencies, including criminal attempt to commit murder, kidnapping, battery. GBI will be conducting an independent investigation into the situation. Meantime, the girl's family demands the deputy in question be fired immediately. I don't know what action movie this deputy thought he was in, but that kind of callous disregard for basic safety gets innocent people killed in the real world, said civil rights attorney Ben Crump. Recklessness, negligence, not strong enough to describe what he did. He is a clear danger must be held accountable. So that's the fame noted civil rights attorney center, Ben Crump. What say you? Because I can remember during my uh, days as an Atlanta anchor, I remember grandmother was taking her two little, her grandkids to church. They're walking and chase through two jurisdictions. We never did get answers here. They, they, I don't know why you're, I'm not saying this wasn't a dangerous man out to do more, but he left in his Dodge Charger. You're not going to get it so far. We we know who you are. This, to just keep going with this, and a little girl is shot. Our kids have faced enough gun violence. You may have a different take, but I just, I can't see how this needed to happen in this way. I'm glad, number one, they got Palmer, Palmer, the guy that started all this and all of those charges, I hope, you know, sticks. 
uh, this will be sorted out in a court of law. When it comes to the sheriff's deputies, you know, I would want to know what are the, the protocols of that county sheriff's department in terms of chase and also shootings. So let the investigation take place to the mother and her five year old daughter. Let me back this thing up. Thank the Lord that that baby is still alive and what humor. And like you said, sharing the courage to tell mama, <laughs> mama, you crying. You to cry, baby. I mean, that baby, her spirit, I know nothing but great things for her wow. life. Nothing but great things for her life. So I am concerned. I, I want to know what are the did, did this did the deputy follow the procedures and the protocols of the department? That's number one. Number two, if he did, they need some more different procedures and protocols. If he didn't, then he's going to have to answer for that. Um, three, you know, in the mind of this sheriff's deputy was that guy, as you were kind of alluding to, uh, very dangerous, and they're trying to stop this guy from getting on the streets and maybe killing some folks uh, with the vehicle. So that's that's what has to be weighed here. There also has to be. This is an and here. There has to be justice for for the, for that little baby and also for her family because innocent people. So for people who think, oh, just armed people, good people with guns can stop bad people with guns. Not all the time. Sometimes good people with guns can shoot other good people. And Thank that you. was one example of that. Did that deputy intend for that baby to get shot? Absolutely not. Did that baby get shot? She absolutely did. And more people could have died. This rests squarely on Palmer, though, who started this this chain reaction. So I hope that justice is served served in that case. And then wherever the investigation leads for the sheriff's deputy, Sharon Reed, um, that's what it's gonna have to be. But the department itself, the county, they they owe that family. I mean, you know, even though it, it wasn't done with malice, malicious intent, that, that family has to be made home. What Miss Lewis say? She's still hey, shot. Still shot. Okay. That's but you're right, and you're so smart as usual to bring it. We do need to know more. What are the procedures here for the department? And Sharon Reed has not been trained, okay? But it's going to start training. You inspire me. You got your guns out today. I'd say, no pun intended, I'm going to start training. But I want to know about their training, Senator, on this one, because my motherly emotion wonders had he not been chased through two counties. To me, that provoked and prompted, oh, a dangerous man, don't get me wrong, he's carjacking all over the place, and it hits Palmer, this is on you. But the little girl getting shot, I just wonder where the protocols, where that line is, because the goal is not to apprehend a sus suspect and shoot a little girl, the goal is to protect the public, and that includes her, but I think you're right. We'll wait to learn more.